Hello, <laughs> welcome to another episode of Flunk Cast React to a Flunk episode. My name is Kelsey, I play Danny. My name is Jess, I play Ingrid. I almost said I'm Ingrid, I play Jess again. <laughs> again, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a wild episode. That wild was the last episode. One of the last one of the season, of season one. So much went down. Yeah. It's like my brain is still trying to wrap my head around it. Yeah, I feel like somehow I feel like I need to cry, but also laugh a lot at the same time. I feel like I need to like manic cry laugh. (laughs) That's kind of the appropriate emotion, I feel like. Um, So to begin with, uh, you were, you, Ingrid and Stella were macking out. Reunion after a really long time. Which was destroyed by Ed (laughs) walking into the room. And that's when that's when Ingrid does her kind of manic laugh, <laughs> where she's like, ha, 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 "Oh, of course, well, this I is might how as this well situation die. goes yeah. down." <laughs> it was like, "Well, shit." <laughs> um, and yeah, you know, that's obviously not funny to her, but it's just like at this point, how much more can she endure? <laughs> it's like a Greek tragedy; it just gets worse and worse I and know. worse. I know. Oh my god! And so, yeah. so she leaves. Storm out of there, um, appropriately, like furious yeah and head straight to see danny yep who's not happy jan no i mean Um, because basically yeah like and i think the the biggest thing in that is that ingrid comes in and is like oh hey i'm here and danny's like "Uh uh-huh right where were you she's like ah i was at work it's like oh man i was i was throwing you a line danny was throwing her a line to be like You can be honest, you could tell the truth, and she didn't. So it's like that (laughs) ultimate betrayal of like, you know, I knew where you were and you had the opportunity to tell me and you didn't, so we done. I feel like Ingrid is so dazed at this point after everything that's happening. I'm not sure she's fully there. She's just like bouncing from place to place and she knows that she needs to kind of like save this situation and she just grasping doesn't really. I mean, she got herself here, but... (laughs) My, <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. It's so much. And, and yeah, um, so Danny's like, oh, you know. <laughs> and I think there's a line that harks back to the very first meeting when we're standing there with the motorized bicycle, and and Danny says, "Hey, come like see me at the cafe. I could teach you something." And it had such a like sexual undertones, and now it's just sadness. Yeah. Now it's just like gonna you're gonna learn a lesson because you need to <laughs> um and from there Ingrid goes you know I mean she's on her way home and she um stumbles into Ruby stumbles into Ruby on the gutter and <laughs> is that what it's called yeah it's a gutter and um yeah. <laughs> you know they're both kind of in like the shits <laughs> and so she joins We're Ruby in the gutter um, really integrity. <laughs> yeah. I mean, kind of starts of off as this this moment where they are trying, where, like, they kind of have some common ground and they both realise that they've both been through, like, a pretty rough night. And, you know, Ingrid's day, she just kind of, like, accidentally touches Ruby's hand. And... What's that about? What is that about? Could be nothing. Could be everything. Do we know? Not yet. And Ruby, of course, freaks out and then calls her a freak. Yeah. Oh. Damage. (laughs) Everyone. (laughs) Damage everywhere. Um, and then it's the next morning and... But before that, you had a bit of a moment, a bit of a consideration looking at that little bottle of, of, uh, well... Pills, I'm assuming. That's what I was assuming. Yeah. Yep. With the with the alcohol, that is not a good. Did anyone? Mix. I want to know in the comments. Did anyone like see that next shot and get a bit of like a like a heart <laughs> jump of like, oh shit, oh no, she did it, oh god. I think it's really cold, so I look pale. <laughs> Look dead. Um, yeah. yeah. The director was like, I want you to look dead. <laughs> like, stick out your tongue or something. And I was like, God. <laughs> <Blah. laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> um, I mean, oh my goodness. And then yeah. um, I have my interaction with, 
I mean, had that interaction with Xander as well. Oh. And that was hard. That was honestly hard to watch. Like, like as a queer person, that's like one of the most nerve wracking things is coming out to family members. And if they react in the way that Xander did of just being like, no, shut up about this. You can't tell anyone. You will be the death of your mother if she knows that's so fucked up. Xander. It's yeah. <laughs> It's fucked, and it's such a real fear for some people that their family could do that. So, like, yeah, that hit hard. Mm. And it really didn't go down go down well with um, Ingrid's dad either. Oh. It's like, he just doesn't... I mean, obviously, she's not communicating, and he doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. He's, like, pulling out this, like, half-dead body out yeah. of bed. Oh. And then we get into the spinny montage. The spinny <laughs> montage where everything is just going so great. Because first up we have, well, I mean, Ingrid, not Ingrid, you're Ingrid. Uh, Ruby and Brayden maybe what? having a thing. Do you think it makes sense? Part of me feels like, because like, he remembered yeah, her birthday. he remembered her birthday. But... I mean, the standards for men these days are so low. <laughs> <laughs> he, he remembers your remember birthday, birthday. Brayden, if he remembers your your. Uh, eye colour, marry him. Uh, yeah, look. Don't know. It could be, it could be good. It Is could that be something you guys awful. would like to see, though? Like, could yeah. that potentially be a good thing? Like, a potential ship? Yeah. Because, you know, Ed's all um, occup- preoccupied with Stella again. Everyone's just kind of, like... And, re- um, like, regressing. regressing. And Ed yeah. taking a drink, because, you know, as we know from earlier, his, his dad's an alcoholic. That is actually heartbreaking. Yeah. Especially when you, you, if you like genetically are predisposed, pre, yeah. predisposed, yeah, that word to uh, alcoholism, that's hard. That's a lot. Uh, so that's like, that's heavy. That's some heavy content right there. I feel um, like all the characters are just sitting on the tip of the iceberg of suffering. <laughs> yeah, they are. It's just like, it could get so much worse and it's already so bad. Yeah. But maybe it'll get better. Who knows? Yeah. Um, and then we are on the bridge with you and Freya. Me and my yellow jumper. Yellow. It's the only yellow thing that, uh, the uh, warm yellow thing I own. That's a lie. I've got another one now. Why I've got a yellow jacket. Why do you have to wear yellow? Uh, because the producer told me I don't wear enough colour because uh, I don't own enough colour. It's yeah. very, very true. It's I own, like, like, 16 different black shirts. <laughs> we were, um, <laughs> we were, there's, like, one scene where... We had to kind of dress similarly, and so we bring like costume bags with us. And so I was like, "All right, this is what I've got. What have you got?" And you were just like, "I've got them black." <laughs> and I was I'm like, "Black." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're doing all right today. I'm doing okay. Yeah, it's a pop, it's a pop of color. Um, but yeah, Freya walking up. Did anyone think that it was actually Ingrid? Did, did anyone? Because like the way that it, you know, reading the script, I was like, "Oh, Ingrid's gonna go." back to, you know, she's going to go to Danny and fix things. Nah, didn't happen. It was Freya. Uh, so Danny's heading back into a not great situation. Mm, I would like to learn more about that because we know yeah, it's, it wasn't great, but like how bad was it and what happened? Yeah. Um, and then at the very end of the episode, last scene is Ingrid with her bag full of Vander's cash. So, like, oh, all that money on the black market selling cards, um, uh, you know, ended up working out pretty good for Ingrid. Um, and she's where's on she the, going? She's, she's a small town girl on the midnight train, going anywhere. <laughs> where's she going? Don't know. We'll find. Who could she possibly have to go? Yeah. Do you want to find out? Do you think we should make a season two? Um, yeah, we we don't know yet, do we? It's kind of in the end of an era, season yeah. one. It's in flux at the moment. So season two. Would we be... need you to tell us, like, how how excited are you? You know, how pumped are you to find out more about what Ingrid's doing and what Danny's doing and what Brayden's doing, and what Ed's doing, and what Ruby's doing, what everybody's doing. I sure hope happen. there's a season two. Me too. I be, love doing this. Bit, I love you guys. It'd be a bit bleak if we left it here. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Like Firefly all over again. Um, that might be a bit old for this audience. 
Um, I understand the reference. I haven't seen yeah. the movie though. Okay, it's, it's a, movie, a TV it's a movie series. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All good. So yeah, leave us uh, a comment. Let us know if you want to see a season two and. And what would be, like, the top three things, or even top one thing, if you're short of words, uh, <laughs> of what you want to see? And, mm. you know... Yeah, like, which characters, doing what, achieving what, with who... Yeah. And... Do you want them to be happy, or do you want the suffering to continue? <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't get enough of suffering on this show. Nah. <laughs> All right, yeah. well... Gosh, that's it. That's That was a lot. Yeah. But yeah, that's it. Um... Let us know what you think about this episode, like whether you agree with like what we said, whether you think differently yeah. about certain it's characters and their outcomes. Um, leave that all down below. We'd love to hear what you think of kind of the show as a whole and all the characters' storyline kind of weaving together. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. And also don't forget to subscribe, to like, to leave that comment, also to tell a friend and to ring that notification bell. Because you just never know when we might post again. Yeah. Thanks for your support, guys. We really appreciate it on behalf of the whole team. And, um, yeah, keep dropping your comments below so we can... um, uh, Read every single one. (laughs) Yeah. Keep on catching up with you. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thanks for everything. See ya. Bye. Bye.